वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.29 सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट यूजिंग मॉड्यूलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी इलास्टिसिटी इज इक्वल टू 200 गेगा पास्कल डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ड्यू टू बेंडिंग फॉर स्टील बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन इग्नोर द इफेक्ट ऑफ शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस सो दिस इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम ए बी क्लियर एंड दैट इज वाइट फ्लैंज बीम ऑफ डब्ल्यू थ्री टेन बाय एंड द देर इज़ अ पॉइंट लोड एट पॉइंट डी एंड ई दैट इज ए टी किलो न्यूटन एंड फ्राम ए टू डी दिस डिस्टेंस इज़ वन पॉइंट सिक्स फ्राम डी टू ई एंड ई टू बी दिस आल सेम टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द बीम इज़ फोर पॉइंट एट मिलीमीटर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेन इनर्जी ड्यू टू बेंडिंग ऑफ स्टील बीम सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिएक्शन फोर्स इफ वी रिमूव द सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए so there will be a reaction force at point a as well as at point b clear so let this force is p and this is also equal to p and let we take each distance equal to a and that is equal to 1.6 meter because we will use a instant of one putting the values and at last we will put the value of a in at in order to get our required answer you can also just put the values directly if you are comfortable with that so let's start okay now you can see if you cut the beam at uh, or from this uh, figure 11.29 you can see that this beam is uh, symmetrical so by symmetry by symmetry you can say that R A is equal to R B and that is equal to P. You can just confirm it by using the equilibrium condition. Sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and by applying this, you will get R A is equal to P. Okay, and from another equilibrium condition, that sum of all forces about point uh, along y axis must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so you will get rb is also equal to p you can just do it by yourself i will move toward the portion so first we will find the uh, u strain energy in portion ad so i will write it for portion ad and for portion ad means that x is greater or equal to 0 and less or equal to a so you have to cut the beam over this portion so if you cut the beam over this portion and you will draw the free body diagram so this is point a and here we have a load of p clear and when you cut the beam there will be a shear force and there will be a reaction bending moment that distance this distance where we have cut the beam is x so by applying equilibrium condition sum of all moment let's say this is point 1 by about point 1 is equal to 0 so about point 1 this force will produce moment in clockwise direction that is equal to p into x so i will write it this is minus p into x because it is producing clockwise plus this external moment which is counter clockwise their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get m is equal to p into x now you can just put in strain energy in portion ac ad is equal to integral of 0 to limit is a m square dx divided by 2 ei you can put the value of m square m square is uh, p square into x square divided by 2 ei and again you can see that you can take the constant value outside p square over 2 ei are constant and we will left with 0 to a x square into dx and from here when you integrate it and you will take the limit you will get it p x cube over 2 e i into 3 
and where I will write it just like this x cube over 3 and limit will be from 0 to a so this is p square so it will be equal to p square and this will be a cube divided by 6 e i okay so this is the strain energy in portion ad now we will move toward portion or portion de so de is this portion i will show you de is this portion so you can see over here in general you can see when x is equal to a so we will moment moment will be equal to p into a so now there is no load in between so this moment will be the same which is equal to m into p a over the a length a is equal to 1.6 so i will write over the portion this moment is equal to p into a and strain energy in portion de will be equal to m square m square is p square into a square divided by 2 ei and the length is a so from here you will get p square a cube over 2 ei again you can see that if you cut the beam at the mid so the load over left side is equal to the load over right side so it will be symmetrical so by symmetry by symmetry you can see that strain energy in portion ad is equal to strain energy in portion eb and that was equal to p square a cube over 6 e i now total strain energy which is u is equal to u a d plus u e b plus u d e you can simply just put all this value i will write it p square a cube over 6 e i plus p square a cube over 6 e i plus p square a cube over 2 e i that will be total strain energy now total strain energy after calculation will come out to be 5 by 6 p square a cube over 6 uh, e i so this is the total strain energy now you have all the values from given data we have p is equal to 80 kilo newton so 18 to 10 to power 3 i will show you a was 1.6 meter e was also given as 200 gigapascal 200 gigapascal so i will just write 200 into 10 to power 9 pascal we do not have i so i will be taken from the materials section properties so these values i will show you these values so p is equal to you can see 80 a is 1.6 and e is 200 gigapascal so for i we will move toward the section property property of rolled shape so you can just go to section and you have to check the si unit clear and from SI unit, you have to check 310 by 74. So 310 is this and 74 is this. So I is this one. So 163 into 10 to power 6. So note down. I is 163 into 10 to power 6 millimeter power 4. And that is in term of meter 163 into 10 to power minus 6 meter 4. Now you can just put all the values in above equation. So 5 by 6 multiplied by P is 80 into 10 to the power 3 whole square into A is 1.6 whole cube divided by E is 200 gigapascal. So 200 into 10 to the power 9 and I is 163 into 10 to the power minus 6. 
and that will give you 670 newton into meter or you can say that u is equal to 670 joules so this is the answer of our problem 11.29 so i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you